Sustainable Goal 16 calls for the promotion of peaceful and inclusive societies for sustainable development, provision of access to justice for all, and building effective, accountable, and inclusive institutions at all levels. The end goal is to end trafficking, abuse, exploitation, and other forms of violence and torture, which in the long run helps in the achievement of the rest of the SDGs. Communities that are constantly at war have one thing in common, the availability of weapons. While some are homemade and affirm, as we also, through the same fire, retire from circulation obsolete, state-owned small arms and light weapons that are now redundant to our nation's defense and security, as we destroy homemade guns that have been used to threaten the lives of our people. Others are trafficked through borders as they are generally easy and large to carry around, therefore the prominence in the conflict area. The number of small arms and light weapons trafficking has increased rapidly and this is a threat to the security and peace in sub-Saharan Africa and a setback to the realization of SDG 16, which is the backbone of other SDGs. Countries that have been greatly affected by the use of these weapons are trying to come up with measures to address the effects that come along with the use of small arms and light weapons among other terrorism and economic instability. One measure that is already in place is the Nairobi Protocol which aims at preventing, controlling and reducing small arms and light weapons. This was after the Nairobi Declaration on the problem of the proliferation of illicit small arms and light weapons. From a regional experience and also from a global perspective, the threat posed by the proliferation of illicit small arms and light weapons introduces a disturbingly complicating factor to peace operations. Kenya is persuaded that the Security Council cannot adequately respond to its core mandate without taking concrete actions on the interaction of these illicit flows with peace operations. The Council had the opportunity to be briefed by Under Secretary General Ms. Izumi Nakamitsu, Lieutenant General Badreldin Abdel Gadir, who is the Executive Secretary of the Regional Center on Small Arms that's based in Nairobi, to ensure that this protocol is implemented, the Regional Center on Small Arms in the Great Lakes region, Horn of Africa and Bordering States, REXA, was established in June 2005 and has its membership drawn from 15 states in Sub-Saharan Africa. The Secretariat is hosted by the Republic of Kenya in Nairobi. The Bamako Declaration on Illicit Proliferation, Circulation and Trafficking of Small Arms and Light Weapons recommends that the member states put in place national coordination agencies responsible for policy guidance on small arm and light weapons that include management, voluntary surrender, identification and destruction. AU Silencing the Guns Initiative seeks to achieve a conflict-free Africa, prevent genocide and make peace for all. Citizens of the African Union member states who are still in possession of illegal firearms to do the right thing and hand them over to their national authorities. This will immensely contribute to the vision of silencing the guns in Africa and to the realization of a more peaceful, more democratic and secure continent. The Africa Amnesty Month, which is marked in September, has contributed greatly towards the silencing of guns. During this month, illegally owned arms are surrendered to the relevant authorities. This year, three countries, namely Madagascar, Niger and Uganda, have been selected for the 2021 Amnesty Month implementation. This country have been chosen to conduct an effective awareness campaign for voluntary surrender of weapons that are illegally held by civilians. Member states are encouraged to give this initiative publicity through various media. 
Silencing guns are also involved in peace building where community projects on reconciliation and peace building are initiated. The target is the youth because they are the future and the government since its core mandate is to provide peace and security. A peaceful community has the potential to enhance economic stability, good health, education and eliminate poverty all enshrined in the Greater 2030 Agenda. REXA has made tremendous steps in the fight against illicit small arms and light weapons proliferation. Such include the destruction of confiscated and obsolete weapons. Behind me you can see a cache of 5,324 assorted illicit firearms. Disarmament is an extremely important tool to reduce these risks, an extremely important tool to strengthen peace and security and to create the conditions for sustainable development and the promotion of human rights. Disarmament is, on the other hand, uh, the first objective defined by the General Assembly of the United Nations in 1946. Capacity building in weapons and ammunition management, issuance of regional guidelines and establishment of the national coordination mechanisms. Also, REXA does not ignore the fact that a bigger percentage of small arms is in the hands of civilians. Therefore, the need to have disarmament awareness campaigns, weapons and ammunition management is key in conflict prevention since states can exercise governance, oversight, management and control of arms and ammunition within their territory. Therefore, the need for enhanced training for law enforcement agencies and the military cannot be disregarded. The fight against illicit small arms is not yet over as there are a number of reasons that hinder full realization. Most member states have weak legislative and policy frameworks, weak security in the management of state-held weapons, internal political wrangles resulting in politically motivated supply of weapons, economic marginalization which causes radicalization and violent extremism, and the need for self-protection in areas where national security is not provided. With these challenges still in play, the effect of illicit arms and ammunition will result in deaths, displacement of people, inaccessibility to social services such as health and education, poverty and economic instability. The global focus currently has been on the COVID-19 pandemic and climate change. However, arms control is linked to the Sustainable Development Goals where climate action and good health and well-being are part of. Therefore, the SDGs can't be attained in the absence of peace and stability. With the teamwork, integrity, flexibility and transparency, REXA envisions a safe and secure sub-region in a peaceful continent, free from illicit small arms and light weapons, and is committed to coordinating any action against small arms and light weapons proliferation. Regional Center on Small Arms in the Great Lake Region, Horn of Africa in bordering states, REXA, calls for collaborative efforts in the fight against the proliferation of small arms and light weapons. Such partnerships will accelerate the end of the use of illicit arms, providing a peaceful environment for economic stability and respect to human life. Speak words, not bullets. Guns don't shoot. People do.